Welcome to this Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, let's take a look at where are the sound settings in Windows 11 in the settings app. We're going to take a quick tour of all the things that are in there. So of course the first thing you need to know that just clicking on the sound icon will give you already a minimum of possibilities including switching between sound devices if you have more than one. But if you go to your settings app and go into the sound, so of course you are in the system tab and you have sound, you will have the different output and input uh, devices and the levels and information about those devices. So first of all, choose where to play sound. Well, of course you have the possibility of choosing uh, devices. If you have more than one, you will have here the different devices that you can play the sound off. So, for example, on other, another computer, I have multiple devices. Uh, if you have just one, well, it's going to say speakers, but if you have multiple choices, there's going to be a choice to be made here. And, of course, the volume level and what it uh, actually is. So here, Realtek Audio, for example. Then you have volume and then you have the possibility to have mono or stereo audio if needed. Uh, sometimes in some apps might uh, be interesting to have mono instead of stereo. I never really play with that in general. Then you have your input devices. That's microphones of all sorts, including virtual devices. Like for example, here I have Stereo Mix, which is a virtual audio cable within my sound card. So, uh, of course, you can choose which device is going to be the recording device. And you also have the uh, option to change the device from microphone here to stereo mix in my case. You might have more than one choice depending on what you have. If I plug in my audio console, for example, there's going to be even more choices available for me here. And, of course, you can add devices as uh, you can... Uh, of course, add Bluetooth devices that might have audio and, and even any other device that might actually be plugged into your uh, system. Then you have troubleshoot the most common sound problems, of course, in output or input devices. So you can click here to do some testing and check out what is the problem. It's going to start the diagnostics testing. And if something's wrong, it's going to try to fix it. It could be a d d device driver. It could be anything. Uh, it will try to find what problem it is. So output and input. Then you have all sound devices that you have. And you can click here and it actually will give you a list of everything available. Input, output that you might have on your PC. And you have, of course, the volume mixer, which gives you the possibility to see the different sound levels of different apps. Apps, the more apps you use, the more apps will have sounds. And each app has its independent or its own sound level. So sometimes you might wonder why such a device is not playing sound when, for example, your browser plays sound when you're on YouTube. Well, you can look at the apps here and see if maybe the volume mixer, the sound is off in this case for the apps. So this is, of course, one possibility. And then you have more sound settings, which will bring you to the sound panel, which actually comes more from the uh, the uh, control panel side of things, where you have more options, including um, many, many more that are unavailable here. Uh, but that will take a look uh, in a different video uh, more precisely. So these are the sound settings. This is where everything happens. If you have sound problems, if the sound is low or anything, if there's no sound at all, um, check out these settings. This is where everything is happening. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.